So kids, so uh, well, here I am in downtown Gyra. Well, outside of Gyra, actually, where it's freezing. I just thought I'd do a, a short video on the Dynajet Power Vision 3. I uh, recently did a trade up from the PVCX um, attached to Willow, as you can see here. It's already connected, but um, I thought I would um, do a little video to allay some issues regarding terminologies. Seems to be some people out there that think it's a um, piggyback system, and I don't think that's, that's the accurate term. So uh, stay tuned. PV3, which I traded up to from the Dynajet PVCX, which was the earlier version. Uh, this new one gives you more ability to change stuff yourself if, you, if you're clever enough. Uh, still just plugs into the ECU down here. So there it is there. The previous um, PVCX had some issues, small issues with the 2017 ride command, which is this here. So I decided to upgrade and um, gives me a lot more flexibility. So just turn the key on. Now this new model So you can um, do the flash tune, vehicle tune, tune, tools, device tools, Bluetooth when it comes, and help setting. And the vehicle tools um, gives you the vehicle information, which is all that, that it's paired. And you can also do diagnostic, so active codes, historic codes, clear codes. We'll go and have a look and see if there's anything. So there's nothing there. Go back to... So then you do read ECU, which it reads it. I'm not going to go and do that at the moment. And delete data logs, restore ECU to stock. So the flash tune... And that's all the tunes that have been supplied. So um, the V1 WK and the Stage 3. And this one was supplied by Fuel Moto. These two here, this one, this one were from Dynajet. Well, they're maps, not, you know, I call them maps. Um, so I'm doing this video to allay some terminology because there's people think it's a piggyback system and it's not. It actually is a, a, a small remote device, much like a dyno tune software that um, flashes a new tune. Um, well, this one you can use and monitor stuff as you go, but you can't change stuff as you're riding. So it's not a... Um, So I don't think it's really a back piggyback system. The power commander five it was a piggyback system, so that connected um, to the fuel system. This actually deals with um, changing the ECU. So I've got four flat um, tunes at the moment that I'm trying out to pick out which ones are best, and then go from there. So the device tools enables you to um, check the device information. So that's the device, it's serial number and um, versions and up sort of stuff. But you can also go in and configure gauges. So you've got several screens, four screens, and you can actually set these screens to give you information of what's happening inside with the vehicle. 
So I'm going to start it now, bearing in mind that it's cold. Um, we'll see what happens. Cold. So now I'll do a, I'll flash one of the other tunes just to sort of give you an idea. So, so that's the current tune because it's got an asterisk on it. So I'll go down to this one, which is from Dynajet, and I'll install that. Oop, wrong one. So I'm going to do that one. The tune information. Press rectangle to start. So press again. And now it's pre preparing, initialising, erasing the previous tune. Writing, so now it's writing the new tune. So while this is happening, the um, all the lights illuminated. So the um, which I believe is a similar thing that happens at the dealership because it's actually. Not a piggyback system, it's re flashing the ECU. So it's actually changing the computer. And when Indian look at the um the computer, they don't see that tune. All they see from their records they may have the, the they've flashed had three updates and then there's a counter in there that sh um, shows how many flashes have been. So Indian might have a record of three, and then they see 12. So they know that it's been um, flashed by other some other means. So now we're at 59%. Once, once these tunes have been flashed, they actually the next tune um, comes pretty quickly. I've got to turn it off and then turn it back on. So flash tune, and we can now see that that new tune, so let's fire it up with this new tune.
there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed. As I say, that once it's on still, even though it's not running, it still shows barometer, the voltage at the moment. The other voltage when it was running was 14 something volts, which is um, what the alternator is supposed to be doing. And there's nothing on the other stuff because it has to be running. So there you go. Cheers.